everyone, Emily here. Today I want to show you how to do an owl's kind of face, but I want to do it so there's like splodges coming out and so it's quite, it's just like a mask, like it's a really fun piece of art to do. And we're going to use a straw and paint. So get ready with the straw if you've got one, it's a paper straw this one. And you want different coloured paint, so quite watery, so I'm going to have there's like a blue paint I've got, I've got a yellowy green paint and I've got a black paint. I might have white as well but you can get ready with that now or you can pause the video and get ready of it now or you can just do it a bit later. So we're going to draw it first of all. So let's go, you need a piece of paper, landscape and a pencil. So what we're going to do is we're going to decide, it's going to be a really big face so you need to make sure the eyes and everything's really super big. So what we're going to do is I want to do a shape like that in the middle of your page. So think about it's like a roof of a house or a carrot end of carrot end of a carrot, but it's not pointy. It's kind of rounded. And then what you're going to do is you're going to join it up like this. So think of it like um I don't know why, but it reminds me of a rocket or something, or almost like a midget gem. And then you're going to do this, you're going to just touch there and you're just going to go down, down. So think about, it's like a um, diamond, it's like a diamond. So we're going to go down, down. And this is the nose of the owl. So what I thought would be really cool, we can just kind of like do a little line there because it just shows it is the, the tip of the nose and what I want to do is touch that bit here, about there, just about there and you're going to go and you do the same on the other side, so just there. Try and get it symmetrical if you can, so the same each side and if you can't it doesn't matter but if you can try that would be awesome. Looks like a necklace doesn't it? <laughs> and then you're going to do this, you're going to touch this bit and join it up. So I'll try and do the same the other side. It's tricky to get it the same. <laughs> if you don't get it exactly the same, it doesn't matter. And then what I want to do is decide where my eyes go. So here is where a bobbly eye will go. So if you go across, it's going to be about there. And it doesn't have to be exactly the same. Like if, if you find that you've moved it over too much or it's not quite near it's okay, don't worry, it's just a practice thing. And then what you want to do is do a line around. So you're going to go so think about the eyes of the owl. This one's kind of going up a little bit, isn't it? So we want to do inside, I want to do a line. So I would say this eye is a little bit bigger than that one, which is fine, it doesn't matter. Then in between here, we're going to do this. It's like zigzag, zigzag. So I think it comes out here, zigzag, zigzag. It's like a fluffy bit of his mouth. And you can create whatever you like because it's a fun mask. And it's not like you're going to wear the mask, it's just a fun piece of art that we're doing. It's up to you how much detail you want to put. But I'm going to just do a line here and a line there. And then I'm just going to create the rest of the eyes. So we're going to go round, round, round. Can you see it's kind of kind of cool now because you kind of create the whole thing. So now we do exactly the same this side. It's tricky to get it symmetrical because I'm not doing it flat on. <laughs> okay, so it's roughly that. And then just below here because we want to decorate the whole picture. We could just do this. Oh, it's tricky to do the other side because <laughs> I always get it confused. Right, so that is literally the mask. That's all you really need. If you want to, you can add more things here. You could draw some feathers here. Like if I wanted to, which I might actually try. If you did those type of lines and then you just did a feathers like that. That might look quite cool, but if you're a bit worried and you're thinking, hmm, 
I don't like that, then just don't add it in. So it's very loosely a feather. <laughs> loosely a feather, it's not quite a feather. So we could decorate around, you could do whatever you like, it's just a design. So what I want to do, what I want to do now is I'm going to get some yellow paint. So you might want to get some yellow as well because the eyes are bright yellow. So my brush is not the cleanest brush. So I'll dip it in the yellow and this bit's yellow. I'm going to do the other bit by accident. So really bright. Yellow makes everything stand out, so it's just nice to have a lot of yellow if you can. So a lot of yellow. Just take your time with that. You don't want to rush it. And then we're going to take, where's the picture? We're going to take a bit of brown. No, I don't have brown. And because I don't want it to be look too realistic, I'm going to use, hmm, I might use blue. I'm going to use blue and I'm going to do this. I'm going to get the brush. I'm going to treat it as though it's hair. So don't worry if it drips. I love the drippy thing. It's my flat headed brush. You can use any brush you like. But I'm going to, can you see what I'm doing? I'm overlapping it and it's dripping, which I really like. <laughs> so I'm just going around to create the hair. Well, it's not really the hair, is it? It's the, it's the, um, the feathery thing. And it's okay if you overlap. Okay. Oh, that one. Okay, right. Let's have a little looky. Put a bit of green in there and the more watery it is it won't drip for you because you're doing it on your surface but if you want to you can hold it up and drip because I absolutely love that look it just looks really cool and now what should I take I'm gonna take a bit of green I'm gonna do looks like yellow doesn't it <laughs> can take a bit of green and I'm just gonna do up here like that, quite like that, quite like that look, looks awesome. And let's do a little bit here. If you mix two colours together, so I've got this, I've got like quite a, a dirty palette, but I've got blue, green, yellow and black. So I've kind of mixed the blue and the green together to get, the blue and yellow to get this really cool kind of effect. Yeah, shall we go all the way here? Let's go all the way there. There's a bit of white on him. I don't know, I quite like to follow the line. And it's not a realistic interpretation of an owl. So don't worry if you're thinking, looks strange, <laughs> it's okay. I love that look of like, see how awesome it looks with the it kind of looks cool with the line like a fluffy owl i'm gonna do some more yellow I, w I would put red and stuff but i don't want to complicate it too much do yellow okay now obviously you can carry on you can do as i say you can do red you can do you could literally get a water wash, so lots of water on your brush, and just colour the feathers in with water like that. And kind of let it drip if you want to. So it's very watery. And I love the idea of... So what I'd do is I'll go across and let it all just drip. Can you see it's just dripping and dripping? I think that kind of has quite a fun effect. So you can have a go at doing that. Then... The bit that matters probably the most, well, it's not quite the most, is <sighs> you want to get your straw, and I sigh because it's a bit tricky to show you when it's upright. So I'm going to put some black there. It's got to be super watery, so it might look a bit strained because it might drip, but you're going to do this. 
in fact, we'll say. It's tricky to show you because it's upright, but the more you touch near the black, the more it spreads out and it just looks really, really good. I'll try and do it here for you a bit more. It's like if you've got it on the table, it's so much easier because you can, it won't drip. So don't suck, make sure you blow, because if you suck it up, obviously it's not going to be very good for your, for your mouth. I'm just going to do this a bit more. If you really blow a lot, it comes out looking really cool. So you can do that with any colour. And you can do it down here, you can do it red, whatever you like. I am going to get black, because I love black. It just makes everything look really cool. So the eye, I'm going to do black. Would have a white bit in it, but we can add that in later. No, I'm not doing this too neat, am I? <laughs> Try and get yours neater if you can. But I'm doing that black. And then I might do that black. You can create kind of like the feathers. And this bit's quite dark. I'm doing, it's almost like it's watery. And I'm leaving a bit of a white bit there. So can you see it almost looks like a cartoon now? And then we with water, I'm gonna let this drip, I think. But you can blow it out with a straw. So you wanna almost and this is really drippy now, which I actually really like. But you'd have to hold it up, I think, in order to get that drippy effect. So as I say, loads of ways that you could do this design. It doesn't have to be with the drip. I'm going to do a bit of blue here. I like mixing a bit of black in there because then it camouflages a little bit with that. And then I'm going to get a bit of white. Now, I don't have much white. So I'm just going to... Woo, there we are. So it makes it look like it stands out more. So obviously this doesn't necessarily need to be the finished thing. I just didn't want to do it too long for you in the video. But what you want to do is add more on there. So, you know, start going into there and really working into it. Pick up the black if you need to, because it's wet. Can you see? It kind of just adds more to it. You can start to, you can start to shade it in and make it look quite cool. As you go around the eyes and everything. So make sure you just fiddle around with it and see what you can come up with. Because that's what I love about art. It's just nice to sort of see what you can do. And then as soon as you've got what you want, you could maybe do another one. So you can do quite a few. And there, you could do it coming out. Like it's quite a messy piece, but it's a nice messy piece because it's like a design. I think I'd almost stop there. If I had more time, I would probably, I'd definitely blow more with the um, straw, but because it's upright, it's super tricky to show you. I would decorate the whole thing probably with blowing with a straw because I love it I think it looks really cool when you can blow with the straw so there we go there is roughly I'll probably take that off as well just so it looks a bit more do you know what? I'll probably take it off now although it's quite nice that it's smudgy if I was to have more time I would probably I think I would add more on the top of his head like I'd get some black and I'd sort of do that and let it drip down. It depends if you want it to look friendly or fierce. Because it does look a bit fierce, doesn't it, with all of it dripping down. I quite I even quite like 
if that was to be dripped down. The reason why I like drips is I tend to use them in my own artwork when I'm painting um, and it has a nice effect on it. So you could do that. So give it a go. Just give it a go. See what you come up with. If you want to message me, my details are below and then maybe you can try different animals and different things and send me your results because it's really cool seeing your finished results. Might be a black line there. There you go. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. There we go, guys. So just have a bit of fun. See what you can create with your owl mask, or what should I say, owl picture, owl face. So if I let this dry, I reckon I would get white and I'd go over bits. I'm really tempted to do it now, actually. I can never stop. Like when I start, I think, oh, I'll do a bit more. I'm just getting this strange colour, which is kind of like a brownie colour. I'm just going to see what I can create because I like the idea of putting some brown in there for some reason. It's funny, isn't it? You think, oh, I'll give that a go. Don't be scared to, don't ever be scared to experiment. Just try things out. Oh, I like that. I'm just using brown. I just found some brown <laughs> in my studio. So whatever you've got near you that's paint, just try it if you can. There we go. I'm not quite sure what this is, but I quite like it. I like the fact it's not really anything. It's just a, a design and you've based it on an animal. So see what you can come up with where you've got a design, but you've based it on an owl. Because an owl's a really nice thing to base it on, isn't it? So yeah, give it a go, see what you come up with, and I will see you soon.